I've ordered some new friction discs for the clutch. Uh, this is fancy. And also in this kit you get some new harder springs. So I won't fit this today. Uh, uh, the, the ones that are sitting is not really bad, but since I don't know the state of it, the, mo the engine is new to me. And I'm going to riding, been, be riding quite a lot this summer, so I think it's better to be safe than sorry to fix this. To change this and you know it's good in, co in good condition. So I'm going to change this today. What you want to do, uh, as I've shown you before, is that you want to soak this in uh, gearbox oil. Uh, before you, uh, well, for a day, a day before you mount them. I haven't done that right now, but I will do that. To get to the clutch, uh, it sits behind this uh, lid. So it's three screws, one here, one here, and one here. Uh, so if you loosen them, you can take this lid off bend it down and then uh, you can uh, take it out. So as you can see I removed the rear wheel and the brake drum. You don't need to remove the brake drum. It, uh, it's enough to just remove the wheel and you will still have access to this. But I was doing some other work here at the same time so that's why I took the brake drum out also. Uh, but that's not necessary. So we loosen these three screws. So now just Bent the lid down here, and then it will look like this. And then you can remove this sort of spring here. This is the pressure plate. So you want to remove that. That came. So that's the pressure plate out. And then you have the nut in the center here. And there is a special tool for locking this uh, clutch, but uh, I don't have that. So I'm going to use a big sort of wrench to hold it. So I use this to hold the clutch basket to loosen the nuts. And once you get the nut out, it's just to pull the cl clutch basket backwards out. So there it is. Now I've been soaking these discs in oil. And uh, according to Melosis instructions, they should be soaking for at least two hours to one night. So we're going for two hours here. And uh, the clutch basket is out, so now to have to release this uh, ring that's uh, holding it. And all I have to do is push this down with my hand and then I can loosen it. Like that. So then everything is loose, I can pull it up like this. Like that. You can look here so it's not worn out here on the sides. It doesn't seem to be, it looks fine. And then we have this here. And uh, let's see if you can see that. Because <coughs> these plates is uh, between each one is this uh, it's one of these plates. One of these plates is thicker than the other ones. I think it's two millimeters and the other ones are thinner. And the thickest one goes in the bottom. And then you got a, uh, a, a clutch disc and then another one of these discs and so on. So the thickest one in the bottom when you change it. So, but we put this aside for now because we are waiting for these to get soaked. And in the meanwhile, you can take this, lift this off, like that. And then we have the springs here, and we have new harder springs here, so I'm just going to change them. Now the new springs are in, and I can just fit this back in here. Like 
so now these friction discs have been soaking in oil for a couple of hours hours so we're going to start to assemble it so i've taken the thickest of these metal plates in the bottom and we don't want <coughs> the plates to be too oily because then they're going to get stuck they're going to suck get stuck so i'm going to dry them off a bit the worst then we should take this and then we take the next metal plate next friction disc not that one that goes on the top as you can see this only has this cork on one side so this is the last one so this one has the cork this one has the cork on both sides one and this is the last one goes on the top like that like that we're going to have this on the top and then we can push it down and so once this locking ring is in place you have to make sure that it's all the way out you can take a, a screwdriver or something to push it a bit now we have the clutch basket back together so we're going to fit this into the bike again We have to make sure that this Woodruff key is still in place. It is. And we line that up with this here. So we get like that. And then we have the nut, just put this back on, the nut back on. So now we're locking the clutch basket here, and we tighten it again. Now so that's in place, and uh, then we're going to fit this uh, plate again, so I need to remove this sort of spring here that locks it in place. So I'm going to do that and then put it back together. Och nya handtag. Den här mässingsmojängen här har bytt. Temporary core och där ska den här in. Now that's back, then I have to reattach this spring here. So now that spring is in place and we can just fit this again. The lid is back on and all I have to do is reassemble the wheel and then we're good to go.